Ciao, I'm Mary Ann Esposito. And I'm Steve DiFilippo. Today on Ciao Italia, luscious dishes from Chef Steve DiFilippo and Davio's. Don't miss it. When Steve DiFilippo opened the first of many Davio's Northern Italian steakhouses, it was an instant hit. That's because he and his staff understand the secret to great Italian cooking fresh ingredients and a passion for perfection. Today, we're cooking some of Steve's favorite recipes. Steve, I know you are the gnocchi king. <laughs> how do you say it? Is it gnocchi or gnocchi? <laughs> gnocchi. What do you say? Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Okay. gnocchi. Right. I knew you would tell me how to say it. And there's so many ways to make them, right? Yes. We were yes. just talking about this. Potato yes. gnocchi. There's sweet potato gnocchi. There's Tuscan gnocchi with spinach. But you're going to make yes. your famous potato gnocchi. Yes. So what we like to do is we take the potato and you cook the potato with the skin on it. Yeah. And you know why you do that, right? Because you don't want the water to get in there. Because once the water gets in there, it's going to... More flour. Yeah. So what, this is already <laughs> cooked. And all you do is take... Look at this. You just take the skin right off with a fork. Mm -hmm. Like that. Why are you using okay. russet? Because it's a drier potato? Yeah. Because the more water in there, yeah. they're not as good, right? Right. And the, you know, and the secret about our gnocchi, really, it's about the flour. Okay. You really want to have less flour. You know, when my grandmother yeah. came here from Naples, right, yeah. they didn't have a lot of money. Right. So they couldn't use a lot of potatoes. They used mostly flour. Yeah. So they tend to be very heavy. Which made them very heavy. Very, very heavy. Okay. So what we do is we take this thing here. Look at this thing. I know yeah. this looks really big. Like Don't get nervous. Food milk. Don't get nervous, but they make smaller ones for home. So yeah. what we do is we peel the potatoes. So he's yeah. already peeled. Uh -huh. And we just put them in here. Yeah. And the reason we do this is we don't want it to be mealy, okay? So right. and then you go like this, yeah. okay? And yeah. uh, whoop, back on the plate, put the plate on here. And you just go like go like this. Uh-huh. And it just comes out right. like mashed potato. All right, so now right? you have this. And then we have that. And okay. look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? Just yeah. feel it. It looks like rice. Yeah, it looks like rice. Yeah. All right? So now we do is we take this. And now you've got the potatoes cold. Yeah, they're cold, yeah. So why is that? Well, does it work better with Yeah, the... it works better. If it's it's warm, it's going to get all sticky and everything. Okay. So, so now what we're going to do is we want before we put the egg in, yeah. we want to put the cheese in, salt and pepper so we can taste it. Okay. Cuz once you put the egg in, well, then yeah. You really shouldn't be right. tasting, okay. right? So, this is the actual mix. All right. We use parmesan and romano. Okay. And we like the parmesan romano because parmesan as you know is fruity, but the romano has that kick. Yeah. Right? So, salty. Really, it's salty. Yeah, salty yeah. and has yeah. a kick. So, now we just kind of mix that a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add the pepper. Now, a lot of people like them spicier. You know, really depends. Now, once you put the pepper in, you got to be careful. Then you can't take it out. So, notice I didn't put it all in because we're going to taste this, and then we're going to see if we, we like it, and then we could always add more to it. Right. I like that you're doing this on a board and not in a bowl. That means yeah. you're really authentic. <laughs> well, my nana, nana, this is how nana would do it. Yeah. You this know, is how I do it at yeah, home. But this would yeah. be all flour. You might yeah. so much potato. So the yeah. the key here is right. not to add too much flour right. because that'll just make them too. Yeah. So too right heavy. now I would you know kind of mix it up. Right? Yeah. And now yeah. now I'm just gonna taste it. See what I think? Good. Yeah. You know, I think I, I think it's good. Okay. I like it. I, I don't think we need any more pepper. So. Okay. All right. Now, and now we're gonna do the eggs. Hey, why don't you crack the eggs? I'll crack, you're I'll, I'll, let me get a fork over here. Okay. So you're adding two eggs two for eggs. how many uh, how many pounds of uh, potatoes was that? Uh, it's a couple remember? pounds. A couple so, pounds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This All is right. going to make a lot. Okay. Right. So now we're going to make a little hole here, right? We put the egg in there. Yeah. It's not your first rodeo here, Marianne. <laughs> By the way, I got to say it's really cool to be cooking with you. You know, we've been friends for a long time. Long time. But to actually have you in the kitchen with me okay. is uh, one of my biggest so honors. Okay. Now. So now we just we kind of go like this and we mix it all in. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And we just slowly do this before you get your hands in there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. In there, and then I'm gonna add the flour, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's add the flour because we already tasted it, right? And you notice how he's just doing this by feel. That's yeah. because he's made a lot of these. Yeah. Well, you know, we just... do thousands of these a yeah, week. Yeah, right. And and the thing is, you know, also it changes in the wintertime, the humidity, mm -hmm. summertime. Mm -hmm. So, you know, recipes are really a guideline. Right. And, and I think exactly. what you want to learn today, hopefully, is a technique. Yeah. This is really what we like to teach. Mm -hmm. and, and also kind of our philosophy about the whole flour thing. You know that that it's mostly potato. Okay. Are you using unbleached all-purpose flour? Yes. Yeah, you just regular okay. flour. Right. Okay, so now you're going to get this into well, a dough. Well, you ask a lot of questions. You've been doing this a long time. Yeah, well. Now, now you're going to get yeah. this into a dough. Yeah. Now, if you find that this is just too dry. Right, you can always add a little bit more. Yeah. But you notice I'm saving some because at the end, 
you know, we might, you know, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a big ball here. This, this, look how much we have here. This is gonna be a lot. But if it's too dry, you could add a little liquid, right? Water yeah, or could. another you could. egg, part of an egg, yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah. this is, we've been doing this a long time, and uh, Rodney, our, our executive chef, he actually put this together, and we, we've been practicing this a long time. Him and I, mm -hmm. we go on the road a lot, and we do a lot of these gnocchi classes, and we've taught a lot of people how to make the gnocchis. I think a lot of people love gnocchi yeah. because it's such a peasant dish. Yes, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And it, but it's always a first course in Italy, right? It you is. That yeah. is a first oh, yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that came. Well, in you know, in America, ball. we tend to eat pasta as entree, but as you yeah. know, in Italy, they tend right. to. They're I mean, first courses. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and, and you don't want to like beat, beat this to death. You know, mm -hmm. it's like pancakes, right? Yeah, yeah. If you beat pancakes to death, they become tough. So we just kind of want to make it. So now, how do you know you have enough flour in it? Because I know I have a trick for that. Okay, what's your trick? My trick is that you just take a piece of this yeah. and just make a little ball, yeah. and then you throw it in a pot of boiling water. Oh, wow. If it holds together, you're good to go. If it doesn't hold together, you need more flour. Yep. That looks great, though. Yeah, I, I kind of like just how I feel it. Mm -hmm. It's a little wet, but I, I like that. But then, you know, if you let it sit around for yeah. a couple minutes, 10 we, minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. The and, flour and then we're, we're going to yeah, we're gonna roll it out. Yeah, I'm going to just put a little more on here. That looks good. You did yeah. that without a sweat, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of it is measuring properly, right? you got to start with the right, right thing, so. All right, that looks great. Yeah, so we're just going to let this sit for a good 10 minutes, and then we're going to roll them out, and we're going to cut them. Okay. So now we have it, we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Look at that beautiful thing. It feels like a baby's bottom. It it's does. really important to understand how the touch. Yes. That's how, that's how I cook. So okay. now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece off. Can I cut a piece too? Yeah. All right. Good, you cut a piece off. Okay, let me cut a piece. I just wanna show you that. Look, look at this. Look how yeah. beautiful that is. Looks good. We just made fresh pasta in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so that's how we, now we're just gonna roll it out. Now you told okay. me that right. you have to roll it so that it's all the same size, yes. obviously, because... Let me, let me show you the finished product so you can see. This okay. is what we do. Now, yeah. you have to have the finished product to be the exact same. Same size. Look, look how these are perfect. Okay? Yeah. Because you want them to cook, cook the, same at the same time. time. So if they, one was big, one was small, one would be mushy, one would be al dente. So we want all of them to be the same. Okay. All right? And I'm that's just getting a little flour. Okay. Yeah. That's so all. You so just I, it's flour. okay if I cut my... I, mine aren't perfect, but, you know, I'm just going to cut them. Yeah. the way I do them at home, and you do them yeah. like we do them in the restaurant. Yeah, so we just cut them. Because this is a restaurant, so we right. have to think about By the way, that. you know, we, we make thousands of these a week. We, when we do the taste in the NFL, we'll go through four or 5,000 in one night. It's crazy. So then what you want to do is put them on a cookie sheet like this, Yeah. and then you want to freeze them. Okay. Very, very important. I'm put just them in the doing them the old-fashioned yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. so what we do is, so what we want to do is we want to freeze them, yeah. and then before we cook them, what I like to do, is I like to, when I have people over the house, mm -hmm. I'll actually cook them before they come. That's a smart right? idea. So that way they're all cooked, right. ready to go, yep. and then I'll put them back in the freezer, right. depending on, you actually can do it the day before. Because you want to have yeah. fun at the party. Right. Yeah. We like to be part of the party. Okay. I, you know, I don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time, even right. though the party's in the kitchen. Right. Uh, so it's, it's that way, uh, but the big secret about this, when you cook them, you want to cook them in a big pot of water, because if you take too many of them, and put it into a, a small pot of water. Mashed potatoes. They're, they're going to become soup, <laughs> right. actually. Yeah. They're all going to go to the bottom. So you only want to do a handful at a time. Right. And you want to keep that water boiling. Okay. Constantly. Yes. So you have to, it's, it's a bit of a time thing, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of work to do all this, mm -hmm. and you can just ruin them very quickly. Right. So, okay. So that's it. So, so want to go it. make a sauce? Yeah, so just see how yeah. I did them with the, yes. the little in, indent. This is yes. the old way. Yeah, that's how Nana, my Nana would yeah. do them just like that. Yeah, just yeah. like that. But yeah. this is very clever just to do them for the restaurant because you're going to serve a lot of these. Yeah, that would take us a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. And, you know, no. So okay. this is how we do them. And All right, it. so we've made a bajillion of these already, haven't yes, we? Yes, so. we have a whole bunch. And now I want to make a sauce. Now, you can make any sauce with these. So you can do pesto, bolognese, right. you can do a, Tomato. a marinara. Yeah. You can really do anything. But today we're gonna do like a white wine, wild mushroom, truffle. That sauce. sounds delicious. So let's let's get the with stuff butter, ready. Of with butter. With butter. We need butter. Yes. Okay. All right, good. All right, let's go over to the stove. Yep. So here we are. We're gonna make the sauce now. Yeah. And what we do is take a little olive oil, okay, put that in here. Mm-hmm. All right. And nice and hot. It's a nice hot pan. You always want to make sure your pans are nice and hot before we start. Now I'm gonna take a little garlic. Now we use very little garlic at Davio's. I know a lot of people think that Italian food has a lot of garlic. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. We go through very little garlic at Davio's. Mm -hmm. If you go to Italy, as you know, they don't use a lot of garlic. It's a, kind of an American-Italian thing. So mm -hmm. 
you know, that's all we do. And then we want to take the mushrooms and put the mushrooms in. So what kind of mushrooms are we having? Well, there are three different kinds. You have some, some shiitakes in here, okay. some button mushrooms. Yeah. Right? And oysters? That's, and oyster mushrooms, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. And that's it. We just want to kind of cook the mushrooms down. Yeah. A little garlic and a little oil. Okay? Yeah. Just add a little oil in here. All right. And we're just going to... This is really, really simple, quick sauce. This is going to take a couple minutes. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. And then we're going to add a little fresh basil, right? I love basil. I, I think basil is just one of my favorite things. You know, do you remember when we were kids, you couldn't get it year-round? Right. Do you remember you could get only now? It's and so I'm cool so glad you're using fresh instead of dry. We oh, don't have oh, any oh. dry herbs at Davios. Yeah, well, only nobody fresh. in Italy uses dry yeah. herbs. Yeah. And we just kind of let it sit like this. Yeah. All right. That's looking and good then, because, you know, mushrooms have a lot of water in them. Yeah, so, so that's why I didn't put too much oil. Right, right, right? yeah. And you, you also don't want to cook them to death either. Yeah. This is the thing. We want a little butter. Oh, butter. butter to me is just butter, so that's cool. Butter makes everything taste Now, these good, are the gnocchis yeah. that we made. I'm going to put these in the, in the thing here. Okay, so when, when you make it for the restaurant, you have to right. freeze a whole bunch yeah, of so them, Yeah, so they're right? frozen, but they're going to cook really quick in there. Right. So here's the sauce going. Yeah. Now, another thing that, that's a secret for restaurants is actually adding the water, the pasta water. So the pasta water has a lot of flavor being fine because it's pasta starch. Been cooked starch and in the there. starch. Right. Yeah. And that actually helps thicken up the sauce. So right. what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these gnocchis and we're gonna put them in here. But we also want to add a little water. Some so of the we're water. put a little yeah. water in here. Yeah. Okay. So that really helps the sauce. Uh-huh. Okay, see, see this now we have a sauce. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then we just put these in. All right. I'm hungry. And now I'm just going to add a little of the truffle oil. Okay. okay. There's the truffle oil. Yeah. And maybe just a little, a little more basil. A little bit more basil. Yes. yes. Perfect. Yep. yep. Now those are going to cook in just a couple minutes, yep. right? Those that's things. it. Yeah, that's We're good. it. We're good to go. Yep. That looks delicious. See how quick that was? Now, if you, yep. you don't want to cook the mushrooms too long. You want them to have that little bite to them. You want them right. to be al dente. Just like the pasta. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to have a, a gnocchi that is al dente in a mushy mushroom, mm -hmm. right? You want it to be similar. And that's it. And then we'll add a little, we'll put them in a, in a bowl, we add a little fresh cheese on top. And that's it. And we're ready to eat. We're good to go. Let's go eat. We're gonna make some meatballs. We're gonna make Nana's meatballs. I've been making these meatballs since I was a little kid. In fact, okay. this was the first thing that I learned how to make. And I was, I thought it was odd because Julia Child at the time wasn't making meatballs. So, because oh, that's okay. who I used to love to watch. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take focaccia crumbs. Now these are beautiful focaccia crumbs. It's not old bread that Nana made. Why are made. you using focaccia? Well, because they're lighter and fluffier and they okay. have so much flavor. So the big thing about you wanna do is you wanna add milk to it. Uh -huh. Very, very important. You add milk, because yeah. that's gonna help tenderize the meat. Yeah. This was a okay. big thing that, that Nana used to teach me, and my mom too, by the way. And do you let them uh, soak for yeah, a long so you let time? Yeah, no, you let them soak for maybe 10 minutes or mm -hmm. so, okay? okay? And then you just kinda squeeze out the milk a little bit, and that's yeah. it, so we're gonna okay. do that. now. What we're going to do is we're going to do three kinds of meat. Very important. Yes, that is important now, when you make we, a meatball. Yeah, so okay. what we do is we use Kobe beef. Now, the Kobe beef has a lot more fat than regular hamburger. And okay? you're saying so this is American Kobe. This is American Kobe. It's yeah. a couple dollars more than regular. To, to okay. me, you know, when you really look at what this whole thing costs, it's really insignificant. Yeah. Yeah. So I think use Kobe. It, okay. it, it's much better. Then we use pork. Now, pork adds a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. So you definitely want to have the pork. Very, very important. Yeah. And then veal. Mm -hmm. is tenderizer, right? Yeah. So this tenderizes it, and now could you do chicken, can you do turkey? Well, you, you know, there's yeah, really no wrong meatball, right? right? No. So this is what we do at Davio's, and I mm -hmm. and I think this is the great thing. Now, the thing is, you want to make sure you make this the night before. Okay. Very, yeah. very important, because you want all the flavors to congeal and, and, and overnight, you know, mm -hmm. get together. You mm -hmm. know, that's really important. I'm going to, when we make them, I'm going to show you the mix that we made yesterday. Okay. All right? So now, we take that, we're going to add the focaccia, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. We're going to mix that in there. So that's your binder. That's the binder, yeah. yeah. And then we add a little onion. I think the onion, okay. now we cook these onions, so these are... That's, these, yeah, that's Very, very key. important. You don't want them raw. You know? I know, right. I do that too. Right. I cook right. them. Yeah. yeah. Now, and then we're going to add some cheese. Okay. okay. We'll add yeah. a little, this is yeah. that mix again. Yeah. The Romano Parmigiano and the Parmesan. I think it's really important. Pecorino, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's smelling good Isn't, isn't that smell great? Yeah. All right, and then we're going to add two eggs. Okay. Now, eggs are important because that also helps binding yep. it. We have a mixture of basil and parsley. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to add some pepper. Yeah. And then some salt. And that's all there is to it. And that, and that okay. is it. And then we just mix them up. Yeah. Really, really easy. Mm-hmm. 
So do you like to put them, you know, there are, like you say, there's so many different kinds of meatballs, but yes. then there's so many different ways of cooking them, too. Yes. Some people like to put them raw in the sauce. Right. Some people like to bake right. them. Some right. people like okay. to fry them. What right. do you like? Well, what we like to do is fry them. Yeah. All right? So that's okay. really important. So after this sits overnight, because mm -hmm. we call this a two-day meatball. It takes a couple days to make these. Yeah. You make now, the yeah. thing is, really important, you cook them, you fry them. Or you can cook them in the oven. You can put them in a sheet yeah, pan yeah. if you want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's probably a little less oil, yeah. maybe a little more healthier. Uh -huh. But the best thing you do is after you cook them, you put them in the sauce. You put them in the yes. marinara sauce in the oven yeah. for three hours. Three yes. hours? So Yes, it's almost like braising them, right? Wow. So they become so tender, they, they just, fall it, apart, it's right? unbelievable. Oh and I gosh. think that's another technique that Nana used to teach us. You know, three it's, it's amazing how much Nana knew? knew and my mother knew. By the way, do you notice there's one ingredient not in here? Garlic. Yeah. Who knew? Isn't that great? <laughs> right. You don't need garlic. America, stop <laughs> using garlic. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. All right, so that's, so, so that's it. Garlic growers are So that's it. So that's going to sit now till tomorrow. Okay. All right, we're not going to touch it now. That's tomorrow. Okay. We're going to pull out what we made yesterday. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Now, look Look at the color. Look at the difference. Oh, my gosh. Right? Yeah. Now, you might yeah. think that's bad. It's not. It's just a color thing. No, but, but look at the but difference. But see, don't you think that's going to taste a lot better than this? Because yeah. it's been sitting in overnight. Okay. Very, very important. So now we're gonna take this off the thing. Yeah. And we're gonna make some balls. Okay. Right? We're gonna make some meatballs. Okay. Do you like and, them big or small? Well, I like them like three ounces. I like them like huge. Yeah. Yeah. Big well, meatballs. Well, you know, there is, again, no right or wrong. You know? Uh, we make one ounce ones for parties. And this this is basically how a meatball should Oh, look at mine. Be. Yeah. Well, Mine's like for I the can't. NFL. Yeah, well, you know, Marianne, you, you, that's just how you are. You're. <laughs> You know, and that's it. Isn't it just so much fun to do this? I never know, get tired of making meatballs. I just and, love and, doing and this. And I'll tell you something. You know, it's all in the yeah. roll too, yeah. because you know this helps to really yeah. keep the ball compact. Right. You know, it, you don't want a meatball that's going to fall it, apart. You know, so it's it, nice and round. And it's a great thing to teach your kids because you know it's so easy to do, and they feel so accomplished. You know, in a rainy day or snowy day, we you, could make you, little you, ones for yeah, soup. Yeah, you, yeah, well, that's in Italy mm -hmm. they make chicken meatballs. Right, for, right, right. This could be in wedding soup, yeah. say that size. So you can make them any yeah. size you want, really. Yeah. The other thing is you, you want them to be similar size. Right. So they cook, you know, the same. Yeah, yeah, same yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. That's a little you know? one. And that's anyway. it. And, and it's just so much fun. And we'll just put them on a plate and okay. then gonna, we can go cook them in the oven. You'll know mine. It's the big one. Yeah, you are. You like them big. It's good. <laughs> Marianne, look, here they are, all cooked. Look, look at these beauties. Beautiful. Isn't yeah. that fantastic? And they stayed nice and round. They stayed. So we cooked in the oven. Yeah. You know, I, I think they're better to cook in the oven. You could cook them in a pan if you want. Yeah. Uh, it's really up to you. So mm -hmm. here we are. We're going to put them in here. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do here after we put them there? We're going to get rid of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some sauce. This is our marinara, okay. which is made with San Manzano tomatoes. Okay. Very important, San Manzano. Yes. We only use Italian. Now, you know, there's a lot of fake San Manzano's out there. I think I'd like to show you San Manzano. These are the, this is the Italian tomatoes that we use right here in yes. Davio's. And you want to make sure you have the DOP on Right there, there. yeah. You, know, you don't have to use this brand. We think this is the best, but yeah, yeah. DOP is good. And then you and also then you want that. this on the side. Right. And you do. want it to say Product Italy. That's right. Very, very important. And those tomatoes are always whole. Yes, and see how they, they are? Look at this. Look yeah. how whole they are. They're not beat yeah. up. They're just cool. By the way, you could just eat them right out of the can. They, they taste, are very sweet. They taste good. Look at that color. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? It's gorgeous. All right, so now, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some water to this because after you cook this for, you know, two or three hours, it's going to get so too thick. So the meatballs should be totally covered. Yeah, totally covered, yeah. Okay. So pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to add a little more basil to it. Yeah. Okay? Just add a little basil. Now, what's really cool, after we cook this down for three hours, you know what the sauce is going to taste like? The sauce is I, unbelievable. I can't so imagine. So that's when we serve them in the restaurant, yeah. we use the sauce that we have cooked them in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm going to take them, put them in the oven. Look at this oven. This oven beautiful. You want me to Do you here? cover them? Oh, yeah, I forgot to cover it. Okay. They, they, good thing you're here. <laughs> okay, you're. All right, cover All right, them. so let's cover them up. You cook, you cook them, bake them for three hours. Because basically, hours. basically we're braising them. Yeah. It's kind of like making ribs, right? Why are ribs so tender after three uh, hours? Yeah. Because mm. they're in the oven for three hours. So that's, that's kind a very of the same, good trick. Okay. Same, same technique, and that's it. All right. So let's. Now, what are we going to do now? Let's make a tomato soup. I love that idea. Real tomato soup, the, the Italian way. Wait, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some fresh butter, mm -hmm. all right, put the butter in the pan, all right, and then we're going to take the onions, the white onions. Now look at these. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about chopping them because we're they're going to gonna cook down. We're, yeah, they're going to cook down, but also we're going to have a, we're going to blend it later. Yeah. Um, and here is the tomatoes that we use. Remember the DOP, the right? Very important. Yeah. And we're just going to put them right in the pot. Okay. Just put them right in there. Then we're going to take the focaccia. 
So this you're is that using beautiful focaccia. focaccia. Yes, look at that focaccia. I mean, it's just, yeah. it really is amazing. That's your it, thickener. It, well, it's just, it's this thickens the soup. Yeah. Because we don't use cream, right? Yeah. So, and you also, by the way, you could use gluten-free bread. You don't have to, yes. this, this yes. has gluten and all flour in it, but you can use rice flour. Yeah. Uh, and then, then this would be gluten-free. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take some fresh basil, all right? Man, you yep. just put that all I, in right away. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And then, I like to put half in when we're cooking it, and yeah. then I'll finish it later with the basil. Okay. So I don't put it all in. And this is the chicken stock. Okay. Very important. You know, chicken stock is one of the first things my mom taught me to make, and I thought it was the coolest thing that you take something that you don't really eat. You know, it, it enhances stuff yeah. later on. Yeah. And then we take a little pepper, put that uh -huh. in there. Uh -huh. And now we're just going to cook this down. And all okay. that bread is going to Yeah, all that bread is going to thicken the sauce, mm -hmm. uh, thicken, the, thicken the soup. So. And then we're going to take a blender and we're going to cook it. That's why you didn't really have to. Oh, because you're going to make this a smooth soup. Yes, okay. this is going to be really, really smooth. And okay. this is really, really Italian. I mean, this is something you would see uh, in Italy all over the place. Yeah. You know, they, yeah, they yeah. love to use bread as a thickener. Kind of like Papa al Pomodoro, you yeah. know? Again, San Manzano tomatoes. Yeah. And what other ingredient did I not use? Garlic. Yes, no garlic in here. <laughs> you don't need to use garlic. Right. Because you're going to taste the tomatoes. Yeah. That's what you want. It's yeah. a tomato soup, not yeah. a tomato garlic soup. soup. Yeah. All right. All right. That's so how it. long will that need to cook down? Uh, this will cook good, good 45 minutes. No, I'd say oh, like well, a half okay. hour to 45 minutes. You okay. really want to cook it really nice. Uh -huh. Cook it down, because it's down low. Yeah. Let it okay. simmer. You know, right. there's no rush, because the house is going to smell no. unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. And then we're going to take this, we're going to put it in a blender, and we're going to be good to go. And All what right. would we serve it with? Would you put would you put some cheese with it? Oh, uh, you could put cheese. I would just put a little fresh basil okay. on top. Okay. All right. Good. You know, I don't think it, this doesn't really need the cheese. All right. So this has been sitting here now for 40 minutes. Look at this thing. Isn't that just beautiful? Yes. So what I'm going to do is going to put it in the blender. Mm-hmm. And we're going to puree this. Puree this right up. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Let's okay. come over yep. there. Yeah. Put this right on here. Yeah. You like to use this, don't you? Yes, I love this thing. Yeah, these are amazing. So we're going to put that on top. Yeah. Here we go. And go ahead. Turn it on. There we go. There we go. We're just going to puree it. And then we're going to put it back in the pot. How smooth do you want it? Really smooth? Yeah, we want it pretty smooth. Oh, you can yeah. turn that up. Yeah. Yeah. Turn yep. That. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think that's it. That's good. That's it. Now we're going to put it in your pot. Because now we're going to heat it up. Look at that. Oh, oh look, look at that. How beautiful. Look how beautiful look that is. Look how thick see? that is. See how thick it is? And you can I'm see ready. the basil. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So Smells now just, wonderful. Right? So now we put this back on the stove, okay. heat it up, and then we're good to play. Okay. All right. We're Let's good to go. eat. All right. So here we are, the tomato soup. Isn't that just beautiful? It's and absolutely And now we're going to take a goat cheese crostini, put that on top, yeah. so it's going to melt into the soup, mm -hmm. and the goat cheese and the soup, oh, that goes mm -hmm. so well together. Yes. And then here we have the, the meatballs. Yeah. Right? Look at that sauce. That's cooked with the meatballs. The three-hour three meatballs. That's a three-hour meatball. And it also yeah. has a little aged provolone on top. And then here we have the gnocchi with the mushrooms and a little shaved provolone on top. I mean, actually, it's shaved parmesan. You can use provolone. You can use anything on top. Anything. I learned so many neat tricks Thank from you today, Steve. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for having come to Davio. Thank you. It's great and to have you. And until I see you. Yes. And you, Nella Cucina. I'm Mariana Esposito. And I'm Steve DiFilippo. Ciao.